What's wrong with Hello again. I like to keep you all guessing. Whenever you think you know what my next move is, I'm always gonna be one step ahead. Because the closer that you look, the less that you'll see. Remember the name. Ghost. So, ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, Blade Gibson. Blade, what's going on between you and James Anthony? Let me put a needle in that. Everyone needs to understand, I wasn't doing that to get buddy-buddy with James Anthony. I'm not trying to be his friend. I'm not trying to be his partner. All I was doing was trying to make sure he can stay at 100%. Because I want a shot at that SOM championship, and when I get my shot at the SOM championship, I want no questions, no doubt. I beat him at his best, and I became the champion. And James said, uh, he doesn't need a friend. That's great, Handy. I'm going to make sure he stays 100% for my sake, not his. Because he even said it himself, that if it wasn't for Nathan Cross at fight, fight Night, I'd be your SOM champion right now. But now, speak of the devil himself. Ladies and gentlemen, our SOM heavyweight champion, James. Anthony! Look, I'm gonna do something that I thought I would never do, all right? I'm gonna apologize to you for striking you last week. All right, I appreciate, no, no, don't, don't look shy. I appreciate you coming to my rescue, my defense, whatever you wanna call it, Blade, all right? But we're not friends. We ain't boys. We ain't going out to have a drink because you're not old enough to go out and drink anyway. We're here to wrestle. But I'm sorry, Blade, I hate to say this. You're not getting another championship match. You can come out here every week and say me if you want to. You can come out here each and every week and say you want to be the champion, that's fine. But there's nothing else I need to prove to you. Well, champ, um, I hate to interrupt you there, but uh, I just got word from Ricky Morton himself that you're gonna have to get along with Blake Gibson tonight in our main event. Because you guys. You guys are squaring off against the Extraordinary Gentlemen's Club for a shot at the tag team titles. 
straight from Ricky Morton himself. I don't share the spotlight. I'm not. Tonight, you have to share the spotlight, guys. And it's a shot for the East Tennessee Tag Team Championships. It is going to be a great main event. Let's go back to the desk. All right, guys. You just heard it. I got to announce it. We're going to see the Extraordinary Gentlemen's Club versus James Anthony and Blade Gibson. What is up with Ricky Morton? What has he been thinking? I don't know, but I like his train of thought. Well, let's see if that works out for them because you know what? Sometimes the best laid plans don't always go right. And speaking well, of which, I know you were upset about what happened here with Katsana joining up with your favorite wrestler here that you voted for, I'm sure, Evan Golden. I Evan, cannot believe Michael Gabriel this trifecta right here. I mean, Michael Gabriel, he's making his return from being back with Barnabas, and he's just came back like a house of fire. And now he's linked up with two guys that are just extremely dangerous but hey, let me in not, this business. But if this is stands like I see, if I see a name across the docket, across from him, he's got his work cut out for him tonight, my friend. Because if it's true, I don't know if it is. We're going to see here in a second. But if it's true, this gentleman that's getting ready to come out right now is going to change the whole landscape of SOM. And I hear it, I know it, I feel it. And here he is, Aunt Dominic. With such a great return. This is a guy that oh. you have been hyping up oh, for yes, a sir. long time. And you You've get the, about this for yes. a long time, about and, him coming back. And, because here's the thing, right now he's also wrestling down in San Antonio, Texas. Right, All right for Manny Fernandez, uh, down there, down there working with Rudy Gonzalez. And all the folks oh, down there, there in San Antonio. This, this man guy, has Rudy. all the charisma. That's crazy, man. What is that? That's Ugly Be Gone. Ugly Be Gone? Yeah, he squirts it on you. So you're ugly, but can be gone. I, I don't think it works too well. I mean, he needs to. I'm telling you, Gabriel has no clue of what he's getting ready to handle. Well, Michael Gabriel is not a stranger to weird challenges here. He's been in the Agoji quite a few times, not scared to take on any competitor. I tell you what, wrestling has a lot of characters, and this guy is Dr. Tom Pritchard approved as a wild, crazy person in the ring and out of the ring all the time. Well, he certainly portrays that in epic fashion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Jet 3 Express, Michael Gabriel. The Gen 3 Express. And introducing I was his at home last week. company to the ring by zero. He is like a god and dominant. I was sitting at home last week having to listen to these three get up there and talk smack yeah. like they have owned this business since it walked in, and it was, it, it was disgusting. I'm but, glad I wasn't here. But I'm telling you, that amp is going to, like I said, he's a different cat, man, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel speaking the word he wants him to wrestle him <laughs> well Ricky Morton's already been on the phone watch tonight setting oh, Ricky up Morton a great loves main event for tonight Ricky Morton loves him he's like a lot of things all wrapped up into one 
Here they go, looking to square off, but Amp Dominic's got to stretch. You know, it's really good to go out there and stretch before you walk into the ring. Oh, you gotta stretch. Don't want to break anything though. No, no. Circling around. I'll Michael tell Gabriel, you, little Gabriel, busy after that. He's going to be a little bit confused more than he was before he started. Well, I'm kind of with thing. him. I mean, Amp's already playing the games, man. These games have started since the second he walked through the curtain, man. And he can wrestle like unbelievable. And everybody on the roster better watch out. Well, boy, we have a fired up night for you. Look here, see? Tell you. If you guys tuned in last week, we had a lot going on, and what an agoji this week. Insane. I mean, Hunter Wolf is just, he's unhinged. It's I beyond mean, that. He is, he has walked out and said that he is the family now. He's the one that's in charge. And Clip Air and Dulé just have to follow suit. <laughs> and Woo! Man! Amp is just putting on a clinic here, brother. I mean, I know this, I knew that when he was coming back to the scene, I knew it was going to shake everything back up. Because the last time he was here, this place was bananas. He's unorthodox. He teabags people for a finisher. <laughs> well, Gabriel does not says, know what to do with this he guy. He says, come on, wrestle this dick. <laughs> Which Gabriel don't Gabriel. know how to deal with this. So not out here with his buddies. Oh, uh, there you go. That's, that's the tactics we know. And you know, didn't Aunt Dominic beat Draco in a casket match? Were you here that Yes, yes, oh yes. Right? Oh yes. I saw it, of course, on the uh, SOM 505 on Ricky Martin's YouTube page. Just going back through some old video, trying to research for Amp Dominic. Oh, dude. So, Ricky Martin, is one of the things he talks about with Amp is he's a throwback. These guys like Adrian Street. That guy's on some craziness that Superstar Billy Graham. I mean, craziness. Well, he has certainly confused Michael Gabriel. Michael Gabriel doesn't seem to be... No. Know what he's... Because you know why? Because he was pride. He been able to get into this match. Because he had that pride. And when you have that pride, the fall is going to happen soon. See, he didn't yeah. think he knew he was getting the ring with. Just like he didn't know who Dirty Daddy was. This and Dirty Daddy's right, like, let me tell you who I am. Michael Gabriel playing a little possum there, I think. Finally getting to put the boots to Amp Dominic. But Amp's moving around like a shark. Well, now Gabriel smells some blood in the water. Puts him up. Oh, big chop. That was more of a thud, wasn't it? Sends him into the corner. Gabriel bringing him back out. Oh my God, what a nasty neck breaker that was. Michael Gabriel, even though he is part of this new faction, he oh. just never, he never fails to impress me. But Amp Dominic oh. giving him about all he can handle with that. Oh my God! Did you see that beautiful uh, cosmic uppercut? That was a cosmic uppercut. You're going to grow to love this guy. I'm telling you. I mean, oh. Oh. cars. Oh. That's in your face. Amp Dominic. Just having his way with Michael Gabriel, and Michael oh. Gabriel says, no, sir. Cut him off, Not going to be that easy. Goes for the 
cover, only a two count. Well, you'll agree with me, Hemp is really giving it, giving it to Mr. Gabriel here. He's gonna have to pull out everything he's got. I wonder if the heights of Zion go past Cosmo. I'm telling you, the Cosmos are way out there, bro. Way out there. I mean, where exactly do the heights of Zion end? And would it matter if he sent... Well, it looks like he's getting ready to end right here. ...to the heights of Zion. I mean, if anything, Ant might start getting him to kind of convert to him. Sends Ant over. Michael Gabriel finally getting into this match. Again, Michael Gabriel is no cakewalk. No, he's not. Oh! Here he goes. He's trying to set him up now. He's calling for the end. Still only a two count. Both of these guys getting up slow. Dominic begging for him to stop. What? Oh, and I poked to the eye. And Gabriel over. Oh, what a nasty power slam. Oh, yeah. Amp, Dominic. Oh, here oh, we go. Like he's like setting this. him up. Two count. That could have been over with right there. Not many people kick out of the cosmic tea bag. Now he's got that ugly spray. Ugly be gone. Ugly be gone. There you go. But Michael Gabriel with the book of Gabriel over there. Oh, he gets sprayed in the eyes. And Dominic roll him up. And there's the three with a handful of tights. And there she are. Here is the winner. The winner of the match, Amp Dominic. Amp Dominic with a big win right off the bat. Big return to SOM. And what a triumphant return it has been. What an impressive win tonight, an impressive comeback. Remaining the word to use. Mighty over everything, baby. The God of the Milky Way, man, guys. Makes them all way. You know, release how you're doing, baby. I take you home tonight. $24.99, I got you. $24.99. Oh, yeah. That is, that's not a good to be squirting off in their face. That's a discount. Ah, that's a discount. Put it over there. What do you want? So what is your plan upon coming back? Who are coming, that's a big word, baby. I'm coming Woo, to hold down these humans. Hey, Georgia, there is the What the hell was that? my more interesting Ooh, interview. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for Hunter Wolf. Oh, here he is. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow! Folks, we are back. Bringing out the big man. This is a big man that has finally been unhinged, unleashed, and is ready for blood. He is, like we said, he said he was going to make changes here at SOM. Uh, Looks who's, like who's tonight, uh, he's going to feast on some general souls. Yeah, well, he might get a little bit more than oh, MSG on this one. He's scheduled for one fall. Introducing he first, looks a little happy, don't he? Representing the family. He is, oh, he is, is a lot of trouble. heavyweight champion, the alpha male, Hunter Wolf. But you know, I think it's getting to a point his opponent, where nobody General wants to fight him. Yeah, I, mean, was, I mean, what's, I mean, He's even kind of turned on the family itself. You he know? just came out and just beat the hell out of the wall last week. And nobody's off the of limits. No. I mean not even Well, family. I mean you gotta wonder was the was the beat down on Dulé was that because, you know, he didn't do what he was supposed to to James Anthony last week? Well, it may be, it may be. But General So looked like he just got broken in half, man. Like, Somebody sent out the wrong Uber for this guy. Yeah, takeout is going to be yeah, taken out. Takeout is now taken out and delivered. Please make sure you get five stars to your door dasher. Here is your winner. My God. The East Tennessee Heavyweight. Who is going to stop this guy? Hunter. Sacrifices have to be made, and martyrs have to be put in their place. The new leader of the family, folks. That's a scary, scary thing. We'll be right back. Be Lee Dooley, and I am here with your new East Tennessee heavyweight <laughs> champion, Hunter Wool. Man, Bobby, doesn't it feel great? Doesn't it feel great, Judas? We proved them wrong they once they again. They doubted us. But here I am, two-time East Tennessee. Two-time champion. <laughs> Boys. Um, can I explain them? Yeah, what happened with you guys tonight? It was a complete fluke what it was. They want to take Judas and lock him in a cage and then try to make us go out there and wrestle those Amish dummies. So bad. It was bull crap what it was. We should have never been facing them the uh, way we were. Uh, don't you be blaming Judas. Don't you two be blaming Judas. Judas. Where's Judas? Where's Judas? Where's Judas? Judas. 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 Do you know who the hell you think? Who the hell you think you are? You know, I own this damn place. Get me out of this damn chair before I kill you.
I'm Bobby Lee Dooley, and I'm here with the family. Shut up, Bobby and Lee. Listen here. We know where Judas is. We know that Connery took him. So we're over here coming into his domain to go get Judas back. Come on, Ricky. Uh -uh, I'm not going. You go. You go. No, you. I am not going in there. I'm not going down there. No, no, no. Hunter! Seriously? Seriously. Seriously. You two are pathetic. Bob. Uh-uh. Bob. 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 I've already went Bob. down there once. I've already Bob. went down there. I've already went down there. This is not you my contract. You're not supposed to put your hands on an announcer. You're going down there, Bob. Ah. Let's go, Bob. Ah. Ah. Let me out. You Let me out. Let me out. Bob. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, we got it, honey. Right, I'll go. I'll we'll go. go. I'll go. You go first. Oh, All right. You go first. I'm going first. All right. I'm going down. Oh! Oh, get on. Hey! Stop! Oh, there he is, cousin Condry. Ladies and gentlemen, Cousin Condry. Judas, Judas, Judas. The big question that everyone seems to be asking Cousin Condry is, where is Judas at? Well, I'll go in somewhere safe and sound, let me tell you. Hold on, you big frick. You big, stupid, dumb, idiot. You got your mind in other places. Oh, oh well, I'm on James Anthony. Oh, look, you need to focus on letting Cousin Conjury take that East Tennessee heavyweight championship from him because you know these people don't give a rat's butt about the Alpha Wolf or whatever your name is. They want somebody that can put fear into their heart. So, Hunter Wolf, I'll be seeing you pretty soon. of it either and why is he going after Golden? Why do you go after Blake? This is true. There are a lot of questions, right? We don't know much about Ghost. No. That's the most we saw him. Last, last and that's what makes him even more intriguing is the fact that we don't know what this guy's motives are. We don't know anything about him. He's just, he was here. And, and is he by himself? I mean, is there more? We don't know. Yeah. And then, of course, we had last week with Santiago. And this guy, he took on the whole stable of Gazana. I mean, and Gabriel and Golden. And he made them t stick their tail between their legs and run, man. The and, of course, that set up this match. Yes is a grudge match. Introducing first, 
the SOM Hybrid Champion from Asheville, North Carolina, the Golden Child, Evan Golden. You can hear that Evan Golden is so loved here. Oh, yeah. They and his opponent, he is. And Santiago he is. Jaguar Warrior, Santiago. Santiago really been coming up in the ranks here at SOM. And then, of course, last week was just fierce. That was the most fierce that we've seen him since walking in here. There was no backing down, you know. I mean, he he, he literally took the whole crew on. And, and, and now he goes, he's got one of them in the ring and is just teeing off on Evan Golden. You know, Aztecs had a lot of gold. They made a lot of gold. Golden sending him over. Big slam in the middle of the ring. Santiago giving him a face full of boot. Turns him over. Right into a sleeper. And you know, he, he just formed that, that alliance just a couple weeks ago here with his new buddies. You oh, know, he basically, he talked about that for weeks. He really put it in our face, didn't he? He's talking about going to the ranch and hanging out with his buddy. And it ended up being Kazana the whole time. Well, you, that was a huge swerve. That was a huge swerve for everybody. Oh! I mean, nice. these guys have been working that since they both came in. And they both came in relatively at the same time. Yeah, and what Kazana said is at the very beginning, he realized, well, let's do this. Let's pull the wool over everybody's eyes. Yep. And give it time, and then we'll expose ourselves. Well, they have definitely exposed themselves. And you got to wonder how that changes the landscape here. Because, of course... Kazana was kind of a people's champ, you know. Yes. Coming out here and talking against Golden, both of them being excellent third-generation competitors. Now Golden on the outside. Yeah, he's on the wrong end of this confrontation right now. Santiago has stopped playing around with these guys. He's letting him talk right here, but... Santiago, handful of hair. Oh! Evan Golden saying, no, sir. Going to take up flight in the Going danger up to zone. the top. Oh, and a face full of Matt. But rolls over and gets him. Working that arm. I don't know if we've ever seen Santiago submit, so I don't know if he, tonight's going to be the night. Well, it looks like he got that arm when he came off the top there. Oh, he did. He totally caught it. Like did so a now he's just working on it on. Golden just got a pinpoint on that arm right now. And not only the arm, but now he's really working the wrist. I mean, you can really notice how he draped that across the, the rope there and, and stood on it. Well, it's hard to fly when you can't grab hold of the ropes. That's true. He can't throw his, uh, well, a lot of his arsenal is upstairs. You know, a lot it of his strikes are from upstairs. And jumping off the, uh, the middle rope and stuff like that, I mean, that's hard to do whenever you can't grab hold. Oh, just digging that elbow in. Who needs a deep tissue massage? And you notice that he's out here by himself tonight. You know, earlier, I mean, I guess Gabriel got kind of <laughs> blindsided, huh? Right. A little bit here by, wow, what an impact Amp Dominic made here. Oh. oh. And Santiago... Trying to roll him up. That was craziness, wasn't it? 
Evan Golden going out. Moonsault. Caught it. Almost a three count. Good Lord, these guys are going at it tonight, Malik. Well, any more Santiago's been full throttle, man, 100% every time he's been in the ring. Oh. He's looking him in a modified arm bar there. Look like he might have been looking for the rope with his toe. Just still working on that arm and the wrist. Joe asking him if he wants to tap. But he looks like he might, I don't know. Now he's squeezing his way over to those ring ropes. Trying to get a hold, gets a hold of it. Joe has, trying to break it off. Evan Golden using all of that four count there. And we've seen Evan before uh, hold on to that count and Joe has really reprimanded him. Oh! Once again, Sweep there you go. the leg. Here goes Santiago trying to get back into this match. Big knee, big kick, kick to the knee. Oh, shining wizard. Dragging him over to the middle. He's trying to take flight, we'll see if it works. Second rope is going up to the third. But wait a minute, He's up in the high rope district, and then here comes Evan Golden. It's like he's setting him up for a superplex. Santiago fighting out of it, sends him back into the middle of the ring. Hit him in the bread basket a couple times before he pushed him off. What's Santiago gonna do? Oh, big frog splash off the middle rope. Only a two count. He's still, I think he's- Santiago uh, breaking wrist. out something new. Well, you notice he's still favoring his wrist there. I mean, he's still like for the last couple of minutes, he's holding on to it right there. He's taking a lot of his offense away from him. And right there was another kick straight to that wrist. Oh, moves out of the way. Oh. No afterburner here. This got burnt. Oh, and a big knee to the face. Wow. Oh my God, that was close. Doesn't get any more closer than that. I think I would have jumped up and screamed if he would have won that. I think this whole place right would have erupted. I, I would have been that. Oh, there we go. Get on him. Roll him over. Hey, oh, hey. And Got here comes here. the lackeys. Here we go. Oh, and then Kazana sliding in. Stalking Santiago. Gabriel and Santiago have Joe over in the corner. Santiago around, oh my God. What a spear by Kazana. <laughs> and Joe saw it. Oh, he saw it. But what's, what's Ghost doing out here now? Whoa. Oh, and he's on Santiago. This guy seems to have no motive. Going after everybody, anybody, I told you, nobody's safe. Ghost dragging him out. What's he got planned here? Santiago fighting back. Oh! Oh my 
my god, what's he gonna do? Oh! Ghost! Just take it out, Santiago! Uh, oh, the hardest the part of the ring. Bug. That's the hardest part of the ring right there on the apron. Oh my god! And he hit him right on Somebody his needs to come out here and check on Santiago. And that was after everything he just went through during the, the, that grueling competition he just had. And I'm not kidding, that is the hardest part of the wrestling ring, period. Where he just power bombed him on the apron there. That, we'll be right back, folks. Who's next? Ladies and gentlemen, what we just witnessed was insane. Was that the third? That was the third victim, and that was a nasty, nasty that was shot random too, wasn't that it? Santiago took there. Oh, man. We're going to try to keep up with him and try to get news from the back on uh, on how he is because he. it's like you were saying, that is the hardest part of the, the ring. Yeah. I mean, if you want to get power bombed, you want to get power bombed it'd, somewhere else. It'd been better uh, for him to be power bombed on the, on the concrete floor right here than it would have that part of the ring. And I here mean, they are. And here we are. We're and here we event. are in the main event. And what a craziest hell main event this is. Would you have ever? Well, everything was set up by Ricky Morton yeah. earlier tonight while I was in the interview. Yeah, uh, but that why? Was crazy. And not only is it a crazy match to begin with, but it's a number one contenders match for the title. For the title. Yeah. And. As good as Blake Gibson and James Anthony are, you got to wonder how they're going to do as a tag team. They're rag tag as hell as a tag team. We'll just call it like it is. I mean, yeah. I mean, they were literally thrown together what uh, uh, forty minutes ago. Yeah. These guys have. These are former champions here. They really are here. Both of these guys have. Held numerous titles, tag team titles. Both. I was about to say they're multi-time. Oh yeah, tag Richard team with the the Dooleys and now with the Dooleys. I mean, they've held. And then has had them with family, and didn't they have them with uh, ECG back in the day? I mean, or EGC. And we'll see how this works out. These guys have to say they have a checkered past would be an understatement, correct? Just a tad bit. Yeah. And Blake Gibson really wanting his shot at that SOM heavyweight title. Yes. He really wants that shot. Even enough to try to keep James Anthony healthy long enough for him to get that shot. And it's like he said, it's so that James Anthony will have no excuses when he beats it. Oh. oh, wow. You think <laughs> the mockery is uh, just starting? I, huh? <laughs> I really don't think that James Anthony is going to uh, take too kindly to that one. But is he showing up? That's what they just know. said. They said, hey, you ain't got nobody. Now, I it's thought it was interesting that Conjury brought up the fact that the giant has got his his directions in the wrong place where he's thinking about this man yeah he should be worried about him right is that what he said because i yes, was over there exactly in fear said. that country was going to start talking to me because country is not out of the picture no he's not He's and got now, Judas somewhere. And apparently Ghost. And we pretty much know where Judas is, but I well, we're, we know I already told him I'm not going back down there. Well, we're, I, the, the, we know where he ain't. He no. has not been up here with his guys. I, I'm fine with him being down there. Man. Leave him. You've been different since you went down there. I, I, I ain't going back down there. I never tried to make me, and I, I don't care. No. Speaking of people making people do things, Ricky Morton really kind of went out on the limb on this one. The following contest is your main event. This is a tag match for the number one contendership for the East Tennessee Tag Team Championships. The winner of this match will face 
Amish country for the tag titles next week on the Revolution. Introducing first, representing the family, they are Jeffrey Clopin, Richard Doulet, the Extraordinary Gentlemen's Club. we've talked about the fierceness coming out of these two as well and, yes, and now with Hunter the face of perfection Blade Gibson <laughs> and introducing his oh. tag team partner the SOM heavyweight champion James Anthony Well, once James again, Anthony yeah. has been strange the last couple of weeks, and I can't exactly put my finger on it. I mean, but he has showed a lot of respect to Blake Gibson. Well, you know, he also screwed up the Agoji series a lot too, didn't he? He did. But, I mean, he's showing a lot too, Blake Gibson. Do you think that his focus being with Blade Gibson is something to try to avoid this giant hunter wolf? Could be, could be, possibly. Because so far nobody wants a piece of hunter wolf. Going through the Agoji series, beating six guys, having the longest run in the Agoji series. Yes. And then James Anthony comes through, does a couple of quick matches, and it's over with. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, trying to break them down already. This is part of their game with the family, you know it. It's always mind games with the family. Divide and conquer. That's it. And the guy yeah. really have friction anyway. I mean, so every little bit they can add to it. But that's also something that can backfire on these guys True. very quickly. True. That is something that could definitely backfire on them very quickly because the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's right, he's my friend. And speaking of enemies, these guys, no strangers to each other. James Anthony and Cliff Hare have squared off so many times in here. James Anthony trying to hold him off a little bit here. One thing about because the, it, the family is good at mind games, but right they're without their biggest mind right now. James Anthony is good at mind games, and he's just good at mind games. That makes him way scarier than the family is right now. Well, they're going to have to collaborate together tonight, you know, so they're going to have to set some egos aside if they're going to make this thing work. And who knows? I mean, they could be, I mean, they're like you said, they got the same enemy. But no matter who wins this match, they have a date with the Amish. That's right. Oh. And it's coming up time for the Amish to defend their titles, too. You know, at SOM, you got a 30-day clause. you got so many days before you have to defend your title, and it's been a couple weeks since they have. It has been a couple of weeks. That might be what Ricky Morton's getting at. You know, Ricky Morton brought the Amish here. Been calling shots just like that one. But Ricky Morton also set up whoever wins this match goes against the Amish, correct? Yes. That was set up by Ricky Morton. Yes. What a crazy night yeah. we have had. Crazy night. It's been the last couple of weeks. It's been crazy here. Can you imagine the stampede? Been insane. And the stampede, the stampede coming up. Man. It'll be number two for me. And if you haven't seen it, make sure that you are watching us 505 on Ricky Morton's YouTube page. 
That's right. It's our 10th year, 10th year anniversary of the Stampede here at SOM. That's amazing. 10 years. I've been here for just a little over a year, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, Malik. And when Richard Dulé has been in every single one of them. That's crazy. He's an OG, the OG here. And he lets people remember that if they seem to forget. You know, last week he had a title shot. You know that. He did. And I watched it, and, man, that was a great match. Pretty damn close, wasn't he? It was damn close. Whoa! Oh! What velocity. Seven. James Anthony threw. You got to wonder where is Hunter Wolf at right now. I don't know, but you had that interview, and he kind of, hmm. Well, the lack of being uh, him being out here when James Anthony is in the ring kind of makes me wonder, you know, what is he trying to set up? Well, take right him down. Bad part of town. That arm. It's he, been an arm working night. Wow, the confidence is off the roof for the ECG. There they go again. Two, three times. And Blade, and Blade is Blade going is, crazy. Blade has gone nuts. He wants in that ring so bad he can't stand it. Pepper. Really showing why he's one of the ring generals around here. Oh, getting reversed. Clepaire has got a hold of his ring partner. Oh, and no. doesn't know it. Where now do they? James Anthony needs to get over and get a tag, but he's not he's a little bit extra on it. Now realizes that it's Ricky Dulé or Richard Dulé and Dulé oh, getting the roll up. Out. SLM champion finally tagging in Blake Gibson. Get our chance to see these two work together. Oh, and starting it off well. Blake Gibson coming in. Has been wanting in this ring since the start. Big kick to the face. Richard Dulé is suddenly in trouble, Malik. He is, but it also looks like the champ is in trouble too. We're watching him with his shoulder over here. Oh, big guy standing up on the apron over here. Forearm in the corner. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then, of course, Cliff Hair paying a the bills. That's right. And, and he, Blake got a little handful of ropes. Dulé taking all of that four count. Back in control of this match. Man, a lot of quick tags here by the ECG. But that's experience in this match. That's right. That's experience being a tag team. Wow. It's like you said earlier, pride is what's going to lose a match like this for you when you're in a situation like what the face of perfection and James Anthony up. And Anthony has to stay out. He can't come in if he does. Josh, oh, kick it out. Looky here. Blade getting his toe on the ropes. But Joe didn't see it. He didn't see the little leverage move there that Richard Dulé helped him out with. Blade Gibson trying to fight back against Cliff Air. Ow! Oh. Big boot to everything. <laughs> it's a nasty kick. Oh, what is this? Oh. oh. Trying to take out that knee, and that takes out so much from Blake Gibson. Oh, he can't fly now. Man can't stand, he can't fight. And he definitely can't tag. He's, that's one thing he needs to do is go tag. That's it. And James Anthony trying to get over there to get tagged in. Up. 
Still only a two count. Oh, just a two, and that's pretty damn close right there. Oh, back to the knee. Right now, EGC is just putting on a tag team clinic. Blade Gibson trying to get over to the tag. Big boot, big boot, oh, big boot. Face. Oh, and just a giant knee. You know, it's impressed me for over a year, Blade Gibson walking in here, taking on competitors three times his size, and doesn't have a give up in him. No, he doesn't. But he might have that in him tonight because he is really I don't put think to the so. ringer. It takes so much to even keep this kid down. But here we go, showing that tag team experience again. Breaking it right when Joe started looking, but I think he may have caught it there. He's only kind of slide. Oh, goes right back for him. And just killing that leg right now. So close to the tag. James Anthony wanting in there so bad. Oh, Dulé, Chuckley Gibson up, just destroying the knee. It's not so much of how is Blade gonna get up, it's how is he gonna stand. Oh, up Dulé. Getting the attention of James Anthony and more of this experienced tag team action. That's right, they're really doing a number now. And of course, this started earlier tonight in an interview that I had with Blade Gibson and James Anthony. The boss man, Rick Morton, calling it in and saying, hey, put these guys together. Make them go against the Extraordinary Gentlemen's Club. But what can he do? That will be the match of the night. Here we go. And so far, it's not disappointing. Well, this is our main event. Here we go. EGC just controlling the match like we knew they would. Cut him off. Again, very experienced tag team versus two guys that I don't even think that they've ever been on the same side of anything. No. But now, having to work together, especially when there's so much animosity between the two of them, Blade Gibson with a big insiguri this is his chance. Fans trying to win him into this match, trying to get him over to James Anthony. Oh, here we, we go. Got people that hate James Anthony and are just screaming bloody murder for him. Oh, and James Anthony keeping Clip Air over on the other side. Clip Air finally getting to him. Not the way that James Anthony wanted to get into the match. Dulé, putting the boots to him, reversal. Big close line, big charge. elbow, big elbow. Drop kick, now James Anthony on fire. Here we Showing go. why he is the SOM heavyweight champion. Take him to the center of the ring. And this is a relatively fresh James Anthony. Well, he was before he got kind of prematurely cut off. Clapper came around, kind of swept him off the apron before he could actually get in the ring. He did, but all of that in and out that James... Uh, hey! uh, there you go. Oh, big super kick. Got both men down. But I don't know who's going to capitalize here. James Anthony, and puts the lights out. Drags him over, two, three, oh my God. 
Oh my God, Malik! We have James Anthony and winner. Blake Gibson number one a shot. contender for the East Tennessee Tag Team Championship. Blake Gibson and wow. James Anthony. Wow, yes, it's a word. Amish, look out. And so we have look now out. they've got time to prep. But how long can these guys get along? I don't know. But I'm, uh, I, I don't even know what to say about that. I I'll mean, say this has been S.O.M. You know, man, man, we don't know what's going to happen next week. Definitely catch out the Egochi series. Wow. I mean, Folks, the Egochi. But can Blade to continue out. to trust this man? So far, James Anthony hasn't shown anybody that he can trust him. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a great night here. We will see you next week on Revolution.